One of the clear strengths of Adobe Illustrator is its ability to create vector graphics. Since vectors are drawn mathematically rather than on a pixel-by-pixel -pixel basis like their JPEG or PNG counterparts, their scalability is practically limitless and the file size of a vector graphic is considerably smaller. One of the great things about Edge and Illustrator is that Edge supports vectors in the form of SVG, Scalable Vector Graphics, which just happens to be a format that Illustrator supports. In this exercise, what we're going to do is create a banner ad using an Illustrator document. We're going to take this little gondola and run it up the cable in Edge. I'm going to work with a little ad. The size of the ad is 300 pixels wide by 300 pixels high, banner ad sized. Now what we need to do is get this as SVG. Now you can't export, okay? The SVG is just not an export format. If you go to export and open up the formats, SVG is not in here. So you're not gonna be exporting as SVG, cancel. What you're going to be doing is saving the document. But before you do that, there are a couple of things you need to do. First thing I want you to do is open the Layers panel. If you don't have it open, it's Window, Layers. And you'll notice that the document is constructed of a number of layers. There's the background layer containing the gradient. There's the flag. There's the text, so all the text is in one spot. The gondola is there. And of course, there's the cable that the gondola rides up. Now, when you're creating an SVG document, what you want to do is save only a visible layer as an SVG document. So what I want you to do is just turn off the visibility of the flag, text, gondola, and cable layers. You only want to be seeing the gradient. Then I'm going to file Save As. When the Save As dialog box opens, I'm going to click on Format, and you'll see there are the formats that you can save as, and SVG is one. You don't want SVG compressed, you want SVG. I'm going to name this SVG document as background and I'll put it in the assets folder. Now what I'm going to be doing in this lesson is showing you how to compress a graphic, which is the background, and text, because there are two different ways of handling that. I've got the gondola, the cable, and the flag. So you just click save and the SVG options dialog box will open. You need to choose SVG 1.1, and if there are any fonts in this, you can convert them to outlines, SVG, or Adobe CEF file. We're not gonna worry about that because there are no fonts in this one. We'll deal with those when we do the next bit, which will be text. And the rest of this, of course, is just basic defaults. One of the things you want to do is make sure that you've got images embedded. If you want to see the SVG code, which is nothing more than one great big XML document, you can click this button and it will create the code and show it to you. You can also click this button here. This will open a browser and you can actually see the document in a browser. Just click OK and everything goes away. And if you notice, it's now background SVG. That's the document that you're looking at. Now you've got a problem here, and that's if you take a look at your layers panel, you've got the flag, text, gondola, and cable. They really should be removed, and the reason they need to be removed is that they just add extra weight to the document. So what you would do is just hold down the shift key and select the layers that you don't need in this SVG document and click the trash can to delete them. Click yes, and they are gone. Save the file, Command S or Control S, and then come to File, Open Recent Files, and let's open up the Switzerland AI file. Now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna deal with the text. Now one of the things you can do here, if you don't feel like clicking the visibility icons, is just hold down your Option or Alt key and click the visibility icon for the text layer, and that'll turn off the visibility of all the other layers. So now that we've got this layer done, we can do File, Save As, and we'll call this one Text and we'll save it to the Assets folder. And of course, it's going to be an SVG graphic. Click Save. Now you've got a choice of flattening the text, converting it to an outline, or using the vector fonts. We're gonna stay with Convert to Outline. And this is, if you're using display fonts or grunge fonts or anything distressed or something that's not on the user's machine, this'll just flatten it, that's all. Just convert it to vector graphics. 
Okay, now we can just click OK. And you can see that we now have text SVG. And it's the same thing. We're going to delete the layers that add the extra weight to the file. And then we just save the file. Okay, let's head over to Edge. And when you open Edge and come to the Start screen, just click Create New. Set the width to 300 pixels. Set the height to 600 pixels. And turn off the overflow, so set the overflow to Hidden. And now we can start bringing in the graphics. And let's use the Desktop Imports. And I'm going to come to the Assets folder. And there are all the SVG graphics that are in the Assets folder. Select them all. And what you can do is just grab the background graphic and just move it till you see that it's at zero, zero, right there. Let go. And look at that. It came in perfectly set up for you. So now all we have to do is put the gondola layer in motion. So what you want to do is select the gondola layer and just get the gondola off the stage right there. There we go. And now you can click the pin. Yeah, we'll move it to the one second mark. And move the gondola up. Off the stage. And if we rewind and play, you can see it comes down. Now what we're going to do is copy this animation. And then we're going to edit, paste special. And we're going to paste inverted, which will reverse the animation. So what will happen here is it will come down and go back up, which is exactly what we wanted to have happen. And if you test it in the browser, command return or control enter, you can see that our gondola now moves up and down. And you can add interactivity to this by turning the click here button into something that navigates somewhere, maybe to the Swiss tourism site, who knows. In this lesson, I showed you how to convert an Illustrator document to SVG by selecting the layers you want to go into the file and then using Save As to convert those layers to SVG documents. I showed you how to convert a graphic and how to convert text. We then went over to Edge and brought everything in using the desktop drag and drop technique, which brought everything in in the same position it had in the Illustrator document. We then put the gondola graphic in motion.